Hi, we're out on a surprisingly nice November day to have a look at the Autosleeper Warwick XL, which you can see behind me. The XL is one of two new camper vans that Autosleepers has launched for 2014, the other being the Autosleeper Kingham, which we reviewed in an earlier episode of the series. Now, the Warwick XL is based on the layout of Autosleepers Warwick Duo, which is their best-selling two-berth camper van. But unlike the Duo, the XL comes on the extra long wheelbase Peugeot Boxer. That's about 6.4 meters long, whereas the long wheelbase, which the Duo is based on, is about 6 meters long. There are a few other things which are special about this base vehicle as well. Things which Autosleepers does, which no one else does. And we'll go have a closer look now so I can tell you what they are. Now the first thing you might notice as being different are these windows. Unlike other manufacturers, Autosleepers doesn't fit the plastic double glazed variety. Instead, they stick with Peugeot's own glass windows. But this is no ordinary glass that these windows are made of. This is athermic privacy glass, which according to Autosleepers and Peugeot, has much better powers of insulation than normal glass. It's so good, in fact, that this camper has got a grade three insulation rating, placing it right up there with the best coach builds and allowing you to use it, in theory, throughout the year. In all other respects, this is a really well-specified camper. It's got an underslung fixed LPG tank, for example, which means you'll never have to mess around swapping gas bottles and so on. This one that we've got on test is particularly good because it's got an upgrade kit fitted, which gives you things like alloy wheels, the awning up there, and Alcon pneumatic suspension. That's air suspension that lets you level out the van to keep it stable no matter how much load it's carrying. But the thing that really makes an auto sleeper is the interior. And let's go have a look at that. Now, even though the layout is based on the Warwick Duo, it's actually surprisingly different. In the Duo, the kitchen is over on this side and the washroom is over here. So when you open the door, what you see is a big expanse of plywood with only half of it open for you to walk in. In the XL, they've swapped it around. So the washroom is here behind me. It's a lot bigger, it's longer, so there's a separate shower cubicle and a separate toilet area. And the kitchen is now on this side, giving you a nice view out through the sliding door, which you can have open when the weather's good. As with any auto sleeper's kitchen, it's really well equipped. So it's got a three burner hob, nice big sink, Lots of worktop space over there. The fridge is down here. There's also an oven, obviously, and a microwave oven, which is up here at eye level. So all in all, this is a classic auto sleepers design. It's got everything you need out of the box. And this, I actually prefer to the Warwick Duo. I think it's a little bit more livable. It gives you a bit more of a feeling of space rather than the Warwick Duo, which feels a bit more claustrophobic. One of the great things about having a rear lounge is being able to enjoy the great outdoors. You can open up the back door, have a seat here and really enjoy the view. In the Warwick XL, the extra length has let them make the sofas longer and it's also allowed them to design the wardrobe so it doesn't hang over the seats the way it does in the Warwick Duo. That really helps give this lounge a feeling of space. Add that to the fact that there are all these clever auto sleepers touches, such as the speakers, which are hidden behind a fabric panel, so you don't even know they're there. And this feels like a great place to be. Obviously, it makes up into a double bed as well. You just pull these two seats together, rearrange the cushions and job done. Up front, you've got the normal Peugeot Boxer cab, which a lot of people will be familiar with and which in the Warwick XL comes as standard with the 128 brake horsepower Peugeot engine. Now, it's decently specified as standard, but if you go for the upgrade pack, you're going to get a lot more goodies, such as cruise control, air conditioning, and this color reversing camera. All in all, it's a really well-specified van, and we'd go for the 2,500 pound upgrade. I think it makes it much better for not that much more cash. The starting price is 49,200 pounds, so you're looking at about 52,000 pounds all in with the upgrade pack. For a luxury camper, a two berth like this, and one of the best rear lounge two berths on the market, I think that's actually quite a decent price. 